asked in a YouTube poll, what do you struggle with the most with your photography? 46% of you said inspiration. So in today's video, I've got 23 inspiring tips, which will hopefully help you take more photos. Matt here from MrLocker.com. Tip number one, don't forget to take your camera when you go out. Taking your camera with you when you go out, you've got a much higher chance of getting those unexpected photos where if you don't carry a camera with you, you'll never have that opportunity. Let's try again. Tip number two, find inspiring people to photograph. It could be people with interesting character, maybe people you meet in the street. Beautiful people, I tend to photograph a lot of models. So two common approaches is number one, just walk the streets <laughs> and approach people. And number two, my more common approach is search Instagram. Send them a message and then hopefully you can meet up and do a photo shoot like this. Tip number three, if you've photographed people before, you may have a favorite muse or person that you photographed in the past that really inspires you to take pictures. Maybe drop them a message and say, hey, fancy doing a photo shoot sometime. They'll help inspire you to get your camera out. And then in return, you can get some good photos. Tip number four, change your camera, your lens, or your film stock. So just by changing one of those three things can definitely help inspire you to take more photos or just get out and take more, any photos in, <laughs> at all. So let's say you normally shoot with a 50mm, perhaps swap out to either a long lens or a wide lens. So for example, swapping from a 35mm to a 90mm. Changing lenses lets you see the world differently and so <laughs> literally through a different lens. So by having a long lens, instead of seeing, say, a wide vista, say like this, you'll be able to do much more nice, tight, cropped compositions. So yeah, tip number whatever that is. Tip number five, change to your favorite camera or lens or film stock to inspire you. For me, this could be the Leica One standard. Having this small lightweight camera means I can put it in a pocket or a jacket pocket if I'm cycling and then just go off exploring. Whereas if I had a big, say, mirrorless camera, sometimes the size is a big burden and it stops you going out actually taking pictures. But if you've got a favorite camera that inspires you to go out, that's another great way to get out and start shooting again. Tip number six, contact a friend that inspires you to take photographs. So hopefully you have a photography friend that's completely camera mad and one of those really annoying, always positive, always inspired people. I don't know, maybe someone like me. <laughs> contact the person and say, Hey, fancy going out taking some pictures? And then hopefully they can inspire you and their keenness can rub off on you and you can take pictures that way. Tip number seven, get your inspiration from absorbing online content, social media, books, magazines, videos, movies, YouTube. I just find by looking at lots of content, it could be scrolling your Instagram feed or whatever. I think that's a great way to get some ideas for when it comes to taking pictures. Tip number eight, join an online community, such as a Facebook group where you'll be seeing other people taking pictures and then hopefully that'll inspire you to take pictures. So I think Facebook in particular is a really good place to join an online community because you can search for, say, your particular camera or your particular genre of photography and then you join, I don't know, in my, in my example, you join the Leica groups or the portrait groups and then you'll see portraits from other people and photos from the same camera as you or the same lens as you and then you're like ah maybe i should try taking pictures like that and it might hopefully help inspire you to to take more photos with your particular camera kit tip number nine set yourself some kind of photography or assignment or photography goal so what some people do is they do that 365 project where each day regardless of your mood or your location or the weather you have to post at least one photo and then that's going to force you to try to get creative in kind of situations where you wouldn't necessarily feel creative. And then another way you could do it is have a end goal of say making a book. So the photos you're taking in the back of your mind, you're thinking how the photos will fit in the book that you're going to create. So I might make a book about photos of Gdansk at some point and the photos of Budapest, for example, because those are cities that interest me. And then I also do my model photography book. So I'm always thinking of how my photos can fit into a final kind of project. Tip number 10, try lighting differently to how you normally light. So let's say you're a portrait photographer 
and you're one of these available lights only photographers, maybe force yourself to start using flash. If you're a landscape photographer and you shoot amazing landscapes like this, perhaps instead of going in the daytime, you could do some night shoots and paint the landscapes with night, so with light. So you take a big flashlight or a flash gun, and then if you've got like, trying to show you nice cliffs and things in the background, you do a long exposure and that's going to blur the water but then using a flashlight you can light the cliffs and paint it to the like, desired exposure. So I think that's a really easy way to get inspired with either landscapes or portraits. There's just two examples. Tip number 11, try mastering a different genre of photography. So if you've seen any of my work you know that I do mostly model portraits. So what about I come down here and try and give, give landscape photography a go or maybe try my hand at street photography maybe just try mixing it up a bit so you're not doing the same type of photography all the time tip number 12 you could put a twist on one of your existing types of photography so let's say you do landscape photography and you always carry a tripod wouldn't it be nice to just try some landscape photography and not have to carry all the kit with you if you want to scale scale some big mountain you might think oh i can't be bothered to go out and carry all my kit Whereas you could just take one small camera, no tripod, and do everything handheld. If you're a portrait photographer, model photographer like me, and you photograph 99.9% .9 women, how about photographing guys for a change? So just putting a slight twist on your existing photography might just be enough to inspire you to get excited and start taking more photos. Tip number 13, how about trying to master one of the classic techniques of photography which you may not have yet to come across. So let's say you're newer to photography and you use your camera in full auto mode. How about turning all your auto settings off and doing manual exposure, manual focusing? If you're a bit more advanced than this and you already do manual settings and say use a rangefinder camera, how about using scale focusing? So this is one thing I'm really enjoying at the moment with my Leica 1C camera. Because it has no built-in rangefinder, it's like the perfect tool to learn how to love scale focusing. So you could do scale focusing or again in weather like this you could teach yourself the sunny 16 rule where instead of having to rely on the light meter you just gauge it from the brightness of the, the sky and the conditions. Those are my 13 top free hacks to inspire you to take more photographs. Let's look at now a few hacks that cost a little bit of money. Tip number 14 you could visit new and more inspiring locations like this. Personally, I work better in brighter and sunnier conditions. So if I need to feel inspired, I just book a £20 flight with Ryanair, like a low-cost carrier. And then, yeah, come somewhere like this. And, yeah, the weather inspires me to take more photos. Tip number 15, instead of visiting new places, you can visit one of your favourite places that you photographed in the past and got fond memories of. So... One of my favourite places to photograph in Europe is Budapest. So if ever I want to go take some more pictures or, or with a particular camera, I'll book a cheap flight to Budapest and yeah, I'm happy as soon as I get there. Tip number 16, you might find attending a festival or an event an easy way to be inspired to take more photos. Personally, I quite like taking photos of old cars. So for me, I'll probably still need to visit a car show where you get to photo cool American cars in particular. It doesn't need to be cars, you could visit festivals, you could visit races, look at what's coming up in the months ahead in your area, and yeah, that should hopefully get you out taking pictures. Okay, if there was one ultimate hack to taking more pictures, it is of course just buying yourself a new camera or a new lens. This doesn't mean it needs to be expensive. If you've seen any of my recent videos, you'll know that I love the cheap Soviet cameras, but equally, SLR cameras are even cheaper or at least as cheap under $100 so if you just need that push to be more inspired pick up you pick up a cheap vintage lens or a cheap camera and yeah you'll be good to go. Oh actually before we leave this point tip number 18 would be if you're only shooting digital photography at the moment instead of just buying a new lens or a new say digital camera if you shoot digital get yourself a film camera. Film is a really, really easy way to both teach yourself photography and be more inspired with photography. And as I said in the last point, it can also be really affordable. Point number 19, you might say to me, but Matt, I've already got lots of cameras and lenses and I still don't feel inspired. In that case, if we're talking about film in particular, instead of 
changing cameras change film format. So if you shoot, say, all 35mm film, try medium format. Medium format offers so many options. You've got 645, you've got 6x6, 6x7, 6x9. There's just some of the common ones, and that's a really easy way to feel more inspired when you want to take pictures. Just for the simpler fact, say shooting a square instead of a rectangle, just makes you see and compose everything completely differently. Tip number 20, you could try passive learning to try to get more inspired. So there's many ways to do this. You could watch YouTube videos <laughs> such as mine. There's lots of great YouTubers which talk, which talk more about photography techniques. And just by trying to learn about a, a hobby constantly, you're always going to get better, 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 week on week, month on month. The more you read and the more you watch, the better you're going to get and the quicker you're going to get better. Especially, obviously, you need to practice this too. What is better than passive learning? Active learning. So the difference between active learning and passive learning, as I would say it in very general terms, is passive learning, you are doing it at a much slower pace. However, if you do active learning, you're basically fast-tracking fast tracking your learning. So the easiest way that I know of to fast-track your learning is to attend a photography workshop. Uh, in most cities, there'll be photographers running photography workshops. I teach mostly about how to get the most from your Leica camera and model of photography in particular. But if you want to learn about street photography or landscape photography, there's lots of great photographers out there which will teach you how to get better at the type of photography that you're most interested in. Perhaps my favourite hack of all time for being inspired to take more photos, apart from buying equipment, is travel. I travel to become inspired to take more pictures and in particular I travel for better weather. I find it very very inspiring and easy to take pictures in lights that we've got at the moment whereas when I left the UK it was dark, cold and raining and so in those conditions I tend to stay inside and hibernate. <laughs> so travel is such an easy way to become inspired. The way I see it is you can travel for the type of weather that you're most interested in. So if you like bad weather photography, like Thomas Heaton did that video on storm photography, like storm chasers, if that's your thing, then chase the bad weather. If you're a fair weather photographer, probably a bit more like myself, then just fly to a warmer climate. And last but not least of the list, try experimenting with filters, as this may help inspire you to take more and better photographs. So you can use things like circular polarising filters, you can use ND filters, ND grad filters, mist filters. And then if you do black and white film photography, you can obviously enjoy all the colour filters as well. Yeah. Got one here I was using yesterday. This is a pro mist filter or black mist filter. And it's on lots, and it's on lots of step rings because I was using it on a 39mm filter thread lens. So yeah, I like these because it makes very modern looking images less modern looking. Or well, modern looking lenses give less modern looking photos. Okay, and then to finish, I have three bonus hacks. Bonus hack number one, get more sleep. If you're anything like me, if you're tired, you're not inspired or productive. So I've learned over the years, being tired is definitely not a great way to take pictures. Tip number two, Drink coffee before doing a photo shoot because drinking coffee is going to wake you up and then obviously you're going to be more alert and more observant and I just find it a massive boost for taking pictures if I'm struggling. I'll go and have a quick coffee and then I'm back in action. And finally, number three, if you're in better shape, i.e. healthier, you're going to have more energy so you can take more photos. Obviously, I'm not trying to preach on how you should live your life, but I just find that if I'm doing the triathlon and the running and the cycling and the stuff that I do, I've always got a ton of energy so I find it really easy to either walk around all day taking pictures or go cycling taking pictures or I was running around here in the, in the mornings looking for locations and then I come back and bring models here and we take pictures. So I don't know if I can show you. If you can see the cliff behind me, <laughs> we were here last night with the model doing photos on, where's my finger? On this cliff edge, it's the sun that's coming down. Uh, I'll bring up a photo and show you. But the only reason I found that is because I was running in the morning looking for locations. I hope you found this video useful and please like and subscribe. And as always, a huge thanks to my amazing patrons.